All right, on Eminem's new album, Music to Be Murdered By, that was a surprise album. He called Joe Button Trader Joe. Joe Button reacts to the bars. And let's talk a little bit about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Don't forget to check out our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. And, um, yeah, you know, Eminem uh, was all sensitive because Joe Button said one of his albums was trash. And since, you know, since then, you know, Joe Button and, and Slaughterhouse is pretty much separated. All right. He says that he's not going to be part of Slaughterhouse as long as they uh, with Eminem and under his record label and that he wants ownerships and basically wants them to own their own stuff for him to be a part of Slaughterhouse. So, you know, Slaughterhouse really ain't been doing much. All of them appeared on Eminem's new album, but in a song Eminem called Joe Button a traitor because but Joe Button had an issue with the business side of things. All right. But this is what he said. Trying to save a Kroger. Yeah. So why would I give an F about a backstabbing Trader Joe for it? How about that? I paid us Oprah. I think I may have broke the scale. He raps. All right. Kroger is a grocery store. That's primarily in like Ohio and in the Michigan area. And basically Trader Joe is a grocery store. If y'all don't have them across the, uh, across the nation, that is the, the word play. It's all right. I'm not going to knock it. But, you know, he basically calling Joe a trader because he don't want to be under shady records and feel like they not do they not getting done right. And we've seen that with T Grizzly and Sada Baby. Sada Baby not happy with T Grizzly. We've seen a lot of artists not be happy with Puff and working under Puff. You know, Big try to split away from Bad Boy and do this old thing. Pac was trying to split from Death Row and do his own thing. So at the end of the day, Joe just saying that we good enough to be on our own. He tired of splitting the money, you know, four or five ways and plus giving Shady a, a percentage of the money when we could do it on our own. But this is what he got to say. He said that it's hurtful, that not right. That's not right. That's offensive. Trader Joe, I'm Joe. So you're telling me Joe is a traitor. Button wondered sarcastically, Joe is not a traitor. It was an aggressive tone. He's saying I only joke with friends and whatever you're doing, uh, whatever whatever you're doing, calling it a joke. I'm not your friend. And I replied to that by saying I wasn't joking. Everybody has to do What's best for them? Everybody has to move the way they see fit. The word traitor is just a little misleading. I have no beef with him. I have no problem with him. But explain the only problem I, or issue I had with is how the, our business was set up the end. So basically he said he don't have no beef with him. But at the end of the day, M is a sensitive dude. Like most guys are. Most guys, everybody's sensitive about something. And when he called his music trash... When his albums was trash or a song was trash, Eminem basically said Joe was a traitor. Joe posed to go out there and lie to his fan base on his podcast and say Eminem album was good. But this is this is kind of taking us back to previous videos. You know what I'm saying? Where you know guys be like, why don't Kodak blue do what he supposed to do? Why don't Kodak people hold him accountable? When a yes man becomes honest and say, oh, I don't like that song or you doing this the wrong way, what does the money man usually do? Cut him off. Cut him off. So Joe was telling him the shit was trash. And Eminem shit been trash for a long time. I ain't never missed no words. Since I grew up and ain't a kid no more, ain't middle school no more, last Eminem album I listened to was the Eminem show. And listen to what he rapping about is trash. People say, well, his metaphors, his bars, is trash. It's trash. And all these black people going to cap for him and say it was good. It was this and that. At the end of the day, a lot of the shit that he was saying was trash. He was saying it in a funny way, changing the tone, going up and high, saying shit fast. And it not not really even making sense of going together. People talking his metaphors is good and that. That's your opinion. All right? That's your opinion. At the end of the day, people say, oh, he got all these platinum records. Popularity don't mean you're a great MC. MC Hammer got one of the highest selling albums of all time. I believe Vanilla Ice is up there. Does that make them the greatest rapper of all time? You got to know the difference in music between commercial, popular, popularity, commercial music, and, you know, real rap music. And, you know, we removed from real rap. And that's fine. I live in my bubble, and I'm not bothered by nobody else say, but is he a traitor for keeping it real? You know what I'm saying? He should have said, honest, Joe. You know, everybody in the studio telling you it's good, but it's not. His fans going to say it's good, and they going to cap for it's good. They listen to it for a day and don't listen to it again. The mark of a good album, if you can't tell a great album, all right, and sometimes I have to listen to an album four, five, six times, like legitimately to really get the grasp of it, and then I can listen to it 20 more times to really actually get and find some more wordplay, right? And some meaning to some of the lyrics. Let me tell you this. If you listen to an album when it first come out 
and, and you might listen to it for what a week or two weeks, but you let's say January, you listen to it beginning of January drop, and and you don't listen to it again. You know, it's not a good album. It's not a great album in your opinion. You know, I listen to an album and I might have, I might listen to it for six, seven, eight months because it's a really, really good album. You know, and at the end of the day, it sounds like he just mad at Joe for telling the truth. You know, and people get mad for telling the truth. It's his opinion. You know, now it didn't turn into business and stuff of that nature. It is what it is, man. So, shout out for Joey for keeping it real. This is opinion. Stand on his power, not kissing him in them ass. He says he's a he's a he's a boss now. He don't want to be an employee no more. He don't want to work under shady records no more. So, in a, in a world of independent music artists and entrepreneurship, this era will be marked for. Joe don't want to go back to being a worker. Check out our music entertainment playlist. All the, the article in the description on my social media as well. Let me know how you feel about the video. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV.